There we go. Let's go ahead and continue. Hello, 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 everybody. So, um, last time we left off, we were, um, investigating that Reginald guy. And sadly, I still think he's the one who did it. I'm hoping he's not. I'm trying to lean towards that. But I thought about it after I ended the last video. And if he becomes the person that did it, it's the one time so far in the game that I'm going to when I go to Mortal Choice, I'm not going to condemn him. I don't know if moral choice in that aspect has anything bearing to do on the actual, if you're correct or not. I don't believe it does. I think as long as you get the right suspect. But we'll have to see about that. And real quick, before I really get into it, my I have a new discussion topic. So you might as well watching this. Uh, what are some game series, or let me try to phrase this right. Do you think there are, do you think modern game series Certain modern game series should go back to their old school style of gameplay. Two examples I can think of off the top of my head for me on Metal Gear Solid. I like the new ones, but I really prefer the old style so much more. And the biggest one is Final Fantasy. I really enjoy, I enjoyed 15 for what it was. It wasn't spectacular, but I enjoyed it. But I just think... Square would make so much money if they went back to an original thing. And then the Final Fantasy remake, they're updating that. But the discussion topic is, do you think that some modern game companies should go back to their old style? And if you do, what companies? What's the, what uh, studios or whatever? I'm apparently in the chill. Okay, so what do I need to do here? I think I need to go investigate, uh, interrogate those people. Perhaps it's not too far from the street. So maybe this time, if it's not sort of cordoned off, it should, should be. Even if it is, it might let me move for, further. We'll see if we can't find out where it came from. I'm pretty sure I did all the dodges I could last video. You know, I don't, I haven't seen it yet. I think I'll check the map when I land, when I get to the destination. Um, but I don't think I'm not gonna travel anyway. But I just want to check to see. I don't think you can go back to Baker Street in this case so far. But nope. It was coming from this direction. So I can't go that way. Maybe I have to talk to somebody. Well, I'm, I'm in the wrong area. I'm sorry. What's that? Mud. Oh, smells bad. There was a collision here. Okay, I don't know how it's used last time. Fresh paint, but from something else. The technical cab collided and stopped here. Hmm, <sighs> so I'm glad I saw that. It's an absolute disaster. Hmm. Don't think the answer would be in the room, but I'm gonna check anyway. Bum 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 bum. bum. Alright, so I think I'm pretty sure we've checked everything in here that we can. It doesn't even look like it's letting us check anything except for the wine. So I'm gonna 
spend just a few more minutes walking around here and see if I can find out where it came from. It said it's not too far from the street, so am I supposed to go maybe in that doorway or something? Yeah. The lock was forced. Should have done that earlier. I should have thought of that. Like, yeah, I can keep going back in there, but let's check this room out first. Because I want to. Oh, what's this? A trail of mud goes through the entire room. And the people who were killed in the cab had all that mud on their shoes and such. Snake, nets, and conspiracy. In the district of St. Victor, while in the act of demolishing an old house, Masons have uncovered a nest of snakes, which has spawned upwards of a hundred squirming reptiles. Snakes! Why'd it have to be snakes? These- oh my god, that's terrible. I'm not afraid of snakes, but that would- I'll be like, fuck no. <laughs> I'm gone. These reptiles did inhabit the bottom of a well, long since dried up. In the middle of the snake nest was the, oh, excuse me, skeleton of a child who had likely plunged down the well to his or her death. Surprisingly, the skeleton was in, in question was still holding a red Morocco portfolio, most disintegrated apart from one legible strip of paper which read, do not reveal the plot. Okay, that wasn't a clue, that was just something weird. What's this over here? Nothing. What's this? No, some things do look like a little circle at first when you like groan through, but let's... Okay. So now there are three levels. Uh, let's see. One needs to be in the very top. And only a three and two. Okay, me. Maybe just a three and two. No, because the one's still there. All right. Maybe a one and two? Okay, let's do a, what if not three and two? No, damn it. I didn't want to do that. I hit the wrong button. And then one and two. There's no space for this lockpick. So you can't do that. Maybe I did it wrong. How many is that? That's three, isn't it? Try four and two. Damn it, I keep hitting X. Just adding... Okay, no. I need to learn how to use controls. Alright, so this one's actually... Oh, my, there's... oh okay, there's three. Aha! I think that was originally correct. Let me see. So let's uh, switch a set of lock picks. All right. Well, no, that's. It won't let me go all the way back with that one. Hmm. Do I have it? Okay, let's try. Remove. Try a three. Is 
That sh that should that last one should push the three back. Okay. This is the word first one that's confused me. So I do the four and two. That still doesn't push that all the way up. Hmm. What does that do? I didn't think that'd work. Oh, so the back number is what I need to be looking for. Uh-huh. I think they should do it. I think I understand what I was doing incorrectly. But let's... Yeah. Two and three, and then one. It's, uh... Like, it was one, two, three. It's an order. Oh, damn it. I didn't want to do that. I thought maybe I tried this, but let's try it again. Okay, well that wasn't that hard. Now to understand how it means. So let's see, maybe if three, four, three, four, and then three. Now it's a lot easier to understand how the lot picks actually work. A workshop. Saleable items are produced here. Mud. Huh. Smells bad. I know I had to hit R1, but I always like to check to see if I can see anything before that. But it looks like that's the only clue in here. It looks as though the carpet was placed here intentionally. An old access point to the sewers. Okay. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. I did it around, but let's double check. And. Alright. I don't know if I need a flashlight or something to do it. This is interesting. We're going in the sewers. I wonder what's going on down here. In this case, so far, it's been kind of eh, but. At least compared to the other cases. But. This may make it very interesting. So I guess that machine's normal. I'm not really sure how it's to run, so. I'm sure you'd say something bad if it was like suspicious. I'm getting flashbacks from Outlast. All right, so it looks like we have maybe a bit of a maze here. What's this? That's nothing. If there's nothing over here. Figure it's a dead end, but I don't want to just turn around and have something there that I missed. So let's go this way. Okay, I can't climb that ladder. There's nothing there. Nothing. Let's go straight across. And that door leads to nowhere. Or at least nowhere important. What's that? That's not it. If I'm stepping on something, I'm not sure what that is. That's not important. What's this? 
Well, I mean, obviously the fact that we've been down, we can see a path leading down here. There's definitely people living down here. Or being down here, at least. I don't want to say living. What's that, dude? What happened? Oh, so back. Let's go back here. Okay, what does that do? Looks like it leaves the, probably that wooden part. Lifts it up and down. So what happens if I hit this? Okay. So do I have to, uh... This happens if I do it to... Zero, just go all the way down in the water. Okay, and that seems to actually clear the water out. So for now, let's do this. Now, I'm not sure there's a way to... Activate the elevator from over here. Okay, what's this? Can you go climb on it? Okay, where would I need this to be? I would need this to be... Aha! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And I probably have to raise it to, uh... Yeah. Looks pretty straight to me. Let's climb, climb, climb. Alright, let's raise it to one. I believe it was. doesn't raise the elevator, it raises the water. Um, oh, I think I have to, I think I'm wrong, I think I have to push it, hmm. Thought I had it figured out. So, maybe, let's do, because it looks like I really can't get in there. I think I have the money on top of it, so let's do half. That's looking more like it. Or not. Yep. You don't hit X, you just go. Alright, before we do the balancing thing, let's check over here. Oh, that's in this little ladder. Okay, so it looks like there's multiple ways at this point. So, let's see here. I'm sure eventually I'll have to go both ways. That machine is important. Okay, so it's the same thing I have to, oh, is this bridge here, hmm, let's see what this does, does it affect the, the elevator, or does it affect the bridge? I didn't know that I'd been crushed. You can't climb that, can you? No. Alright, so we'll get that, that to that one we need uh, to. You to not go there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. You had to flood the water. 
get down that ladder. Of course, that makes sense. Alright. So I'm gonna at least do one more video tonight, but it's 20 minutes, so I'll have to end this one and start a new one.